In version 2 of HIPAA Remote Pro, we added a gesture pad to the Boxy app profile, so let's take a look at it. First, I'll select the Boxy profile. Since I'm running the HIPAA VNC server, Boxy automatically launched. You can still control Boxy with the arrow pad and play pad, just as you could in previous versions. Here's a list of macros that you can add to. To bring up the gesture pad, tap here. To navigate, drag anywhere on the gesture pad. Notice that there's acceleration, just like in our trackpad, so the faster you move your thumb, the faster you move in the boxy UI. For finer control, just drag slower. There's also scrolling momentum, which you can see here. Now let's go to the apps and search for Pandora. Notice that the iPhone keyboard appears, so you don't have to use the on-screen one. You can either type or choose something from your keyboard history. To select, tap once. Hippo Remote Pro will get the thumbnail for whatever is currently playing. In this case, the song's cover art is displayed. Other information about the song is displayed at the top. You can adjust the volume with the slider at the bottom. You can navigate by dragging just like before. Now I'll skip a song. The song's cover art has been updated. The song's details at the top have also changed. To toggle between pause and play, tap this button. As a shortcut, you can also double tap on the gesture pad. Now let's go back so we can go to the visualizer. The double tap to toggle between pause and play works here as well. To skip to the next song, you can swipe to the right. And you can use a two finger tap to stop. Now let's go to Photos. The last gesture I want to show you is pinching to zoom. This works just like it does on the trackpad. Scrolling momentum also works here. And that is in a nutshell the boxy gesture pad. We think that once you start using it, you'll find it both simple and fun. You'll rarely ever need to look down at the remote. For more information on HIPAA Remote, please visit our website, hipparemote.com.